child's ability to read and comprehend and the child's performance. Because in the first instance, if the child cannot read and understand, you ca I mean, you don't expect that child to be able to answer correctly, I mean, the questions that the child must sit to. Uh, one might be wondering, uh, like the Minister of Basic and Secondary Education uh, has been collaborating with the Gambia College in training teachers. So uh, now uh, we have a lot of trained teachers. We have ATC teachers. We have PTC teachers. Uh, so one might be wondering, well, why, why, what is now responsible for the kids' uh, inability to read well, with all the trained teachers that we have in, 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 in our school system, with PTC, HECTC? Well, Jamal, as you know, um, if you don't have it, you cannot give it out. Um, unfortunately, um, for the education system, we have discovered that in the past, um, the teacher training program did not um, include the teaching of phonetics, as it used to happen during the days of, you know, I mean, Yundum College. And uh, that has actually affected the um, business of teaching of reading in our schools. Because if the teachers were not prepared to be able to teach the kids to read, you know, they will not be able to go into a classroom and perform accordingly. Yeah. So this was a problem we discovered and we took it up with the college authorities. And I'm happy to say that um, for the past two, three years now, they have, you know, I mean, since we started working on this phonetics, mm -hmm. they have now reintroduced it, and it's part of the um, uh, teacher training um, program. And with that, together with the, I mean, catching up um, programs that the ministry is embarking on, we are hoping that mm -hmm. very soon mm -hmm. we will have all the teachers, especially those teaching in the lower grades, um, with the required capacity to be able to um, uh, help the kids in their reading abilities. Uh, you, you are talking about a catching up program that you also, wh wh what is that? Well, this an intervention that we have with the um, Gambia Association of Teachers of English mm -hmm. and uh, the Future in Our Hands, I mean, uh, training uh, wing. Mm -hmm. They're going around, you know, I mean, training the teachers um, on phonetics, and, uh, you know, I mean, reading abilities. So that's the intervention that the ministry is, is, is currently working on, and it's targeting those that have gone through the, t you know, teacher training program at the college and were not, you know, I mean, did not have the opportunity of having, I mean, phonetics as part of their, their program. So uh, will you be in a position to uh, sh uh, tell us statistically whether uh, the, the, that program, that collaboration that you're making with the gate, are you seeing any improvements? Statistically, do we have any uh, uh, thing to show that at least there are some improvements? Yeah, um, I, can, I can show you some, some, some figures um, to sh um, indicate the progress that is being made. Like, for example, if you take um, the results that we had in 2007 um, regarding the, um, the, 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 the test. For example, in 2007, when we conducted the, 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 the assessment in grade one, we discovered that about, um, you know, I mean, 12 or 13 percent of the kids in grade one were able to um, identify, you know, 10 correct letters per minute in, you know, the, you know, text that was given to them. Mm -hmm. But when they say, when a similar assessment was conducted in 2009, that figure of 13% went up to 21, which means 21% of the kids in grade one were able to identify, you know, I mean, 10 correct word letters per minute. We had similar, I mean, progress in grade two, like um, the figure for grade, figures for grade two were 25 in 2007 and 33 in 2009. For grade three, it was 36, and it went up to 46 in 2009. So if you look at the um, kind of tasks that were given to the kids, for example, there was one that was looking at the average number of phonemes 
correctly sounded out. In 2007, um, it was 3.5%, um, but that figure went up to 4.13% in 2009. And all the other, I mean, aspects, we registered similar, you know, I mean, progress. Like there was one that was looking at the number of sounds identified. There was one that was looking at, you know, placing your finger rightly. Because when you read, mm -hmm. you need to know wh which direction that you should, you should be reading, okay. you know. So average correct words per minute by grade. For example, in 2007, it was in grade one. It was 1%. And in um, 2009, it went up to 2%. In grade two, it was 2.26% in 2007, and that went up to three, uh, sorry, 4%, because it's 3.97%. So we registered, you know, I mean, uh, uh, improvements in all these areas, you know, I mean, as a result of the work that we, 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 we are doing. For example, the word seat 
has three phonemes 